player 2 has joined the game. Hey yo, what's up everybody? Welcome to episode 344 of the Two Player Co-op Podcast. As always, I'm one of your hosts here, Kevin, along with my brother from my mother, Sean. How are we doing? Fantastic. If this is the first time you're ever seeing, hearing, or listening to us, this is the Two Player Co-op Podcast. We're just about every week, except next week because it's Christmas. Two brothers get together to tell excuse me, you everything you need to know about in the world of video games. If you like that, <laughs> but make sure you like the video, subscribe, share it with your friends, family, and everyone in Betwixt. If you really like us, you can go to lean with it, rock with it. Patreon.com slash two player co op, where we got a lot of different benefits, but the most popular tier is the $5 producer tier, where you get to watch us record the podcast live on YouTube as we are doing right now. You also get the podcast live one day early on YouTube if you miss the live recording and you get a bonus episode each month. We just released our latest bonus episode. We looked ahead to 2024. Today, as you can tell by the title of the video, unless you're watching us record it live because the title is just 344. We're going to look back at 2023, but for the bonus episode, we look forward to 2024. Some of our patrons deserve a shout out. I'm on a roll, just like John Tingley is, our patron saint, as well as our affiliates, Derek Bamford, James Solar. Make sure you check out James Games and more on YouTube. Sticking with that Super Luigi, God bless you, man. Uh, Sarah Solar and Mom. As well as our producers, Steve Appleton, Aunt Sue, Dustin Downs, and Chris Peralta. Also, make sure you check out PS Rewind mm. on YouTube as well. If you like cool t-shirts and the like, Sean got a new one this week. You can go to teespring.com slash stores slash two player co-op. Sean went to the Christmas castle, the Christmas hotel. Christmas hotel uh, in Gatlinburg. Pigeon Forge, I guess, technically. East uh, Tennessee. It was fun. It was a very cute. I mean, it's it's all about the kids. Um, Santa was there, obviously. Kira just went up to him, gave him a hug on like four or five different occasions. Maddie wanted nothing to do with it. Okay, so she's still at that age. Okay. Yeah, um, but it was cute. I don't know. We did some other cool how, Christmassy how, stuff. How did the the indoor sledding? Was that at the hotel? No, it was separate place but like two minutes yeah. away how does that e what was it fake snow or was it it was real snow it looked like y'all were cold so i was confused no i mean it was i would guess in the 50s in there okay. like it wasn't that cold but it's like being in a skating rink or something kind of yeah. yeah it's so it's real snow in that it's water they have the sledding area and then they have just a play in the snow area huh. the sledding area was more like ice like, it was just so packed down that, I mean, it was closer to ice than snow. And then in the play in the snow area, it was also basically just, like, ice. And I think because balls. it's so, relatively speaking, warm in there, that the water is just, like, it's... I mean, the snow was, like, melting, but then it's surrounded by other cold stuff, so it's freezing, and so it just makes ice yeah. instead of snow. I don't know. Uh, but it was cool. The The sledding was fun. Apparently, they said the average tuber is going, like, 30 miles an hour Sweet. down that. Um, I went down with Kira for the first time, and even I was a little like, holy crap, I'm going fast. And But I was more focused on Kira. And I was yeah. looking back at her, and she was just, like, she was freaking out. I'm like, oh, God. And I could tell. I was flying. She was flying. And I hadn't really paid attention. I mean, you slide, you slide, and then I'm going real fast. Yeah. And then it, it does this, and then that. And by the time you're done with the downhill part, the snow's kind of gone, and there's just, like, these black rubbery like mats. Mat. Yeah. Yeah. And so that kind of slows you down, and then if you make it far enough, which I did almost every time, you just run into, like, padded... Inflatables. Bags. Yeah. She was not having it after the first time. I'm like, we really? paid a lot of money. You're going to try it again. Now you know what to expect. And I told her, I'm like, I even thought that was a little fast. That was faster than I was expecting. But I'm like, you've got to do it again. And then she loved it every time after okay, that. Good. So I was gonna say the video you put up, she oh, went yeah. with you too. You race, and you're like, she's beating me. Again. She, she, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. It was a lot of fun. Uh, I would do that again for sure. Um, yeah, I don't know. It was a good time. 
Maddie got sick last night, started throwing up again. Uh, and I'm just like, oh, God. Why? She woke up twice in the middle of the night she, having thrown up, but it was more just like she got most of it out before bed. So there wasn't a whole lot left. It was mostly just like spit and bile yeah, and whatever. So it wasn't terrible, but like didn't get much sleep last night because she kept waking me up and then I kept worrying. I'm like, oh my God, this drive home is it's just seven hour drive awful. She puke the whole time. Yeah. She didn't puke once. I okay, mean, good. we haven't given her any dairy. It's basically just been water and like some crackers. Mm-hmm. Um, but I mean, it was just like a ticking time bomb the whole time. I'm just like, everything's fine right now. But at any moment you could just hear a, and then Uh-oh. I'm just like I don't yeah. even know what to do but we made it home issue free uh, but yeah it was a good time poor Maddie God, yeah. that sucks that sucks um, let's talk about some video games so last week the three major major what? publishers three major console makers all put out their years in review um so we're going to look at that now. And let's do Nintendo first. Let's see. Okay. If I'm looking at my up. Nintendo review for the first time right now. See if mine pulls up or if I got to log back in. Okay. K Dubs, welcome to your review. Why is this my. I don't even remember ever making this my picture. It looks nothing like. I mean, I mean it's, it's hard me. to make a. It's yeah. a me. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's actually a me. M I I. All right. My first game of 2023. This is so stupid. I wonder if yours is the same as mine. So I wonder if this goes with all users. Oh, uh, okay. Then probably not. Animal Crossing. Oh, mine was Game Boy. I think because oh. I wanted to check out Mario Land 2. That's the only thing I remember playing on Game Boy. So, yeah, that was my first year. First game of the year was Game Boy. I played, well, not me for sure, but my Switch, I will say, played 17 total games for 338 hours. I played 10 for 142. I'm wow. shocked that I played 10. I'm like... You didn't get Vampire Survivors on it, did you? No. no. I'm like, Game Boy? Maybe Nintendo at some point. <clears throat> Mario Maker, Zelda, Metroid. That's five. I'm curious what the other five are right. going to be. Oh, Sea of Stars demo. That'll probably count. So, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I'm sure numbers don't lie, but... Most played games this year. Only one of is mine, and that's really oh, frustrating. And, oh, I guess I said Zelda. I hope I said yeah. Zelda. Yeah. One of them... Oh. This is so frustrating. Duh. My number three, I'll say that, is Minecraft for 47 hours. So, this is clearly just my Switch, not yeah. my user. Fortnite for 83 hours. But number one, of course, I wonder who played it more. Tears of the Kingdom, 147 hours. Holy crap, you smoked me. That was my number one too, but 98. I think five to 10 hours of that. Well, that's still a lot more than you, but I think five to 10 of that. Because remember, Casey played it for a good little bit. Really? So some of that is probably him based on how they do this. Um, my most played month was May. I assume that's yours because that's when Tears of the Kingdom. Well, hang on. So I got number one is oh, yeah. Zelda. Number two. Game Boy? Big drop off, Metroid Prime. Oh, yeah. That was only 15 hours. That's I'm probably kinda what mine shocked. would have been if it was just my games, yeah. Um, number three, Mario RPG. That was an obvious one that I forgot about. 13 hours. That probably would have been my number three. Uh, yeah, I guess that's all it shows you. Yeah. So my most played month was May, Zelda. Oh, no, it's just going game by game. Yeah, game most by game. Most played month for Fortnite was January. That's interesting. Minecraft was July. That's interesting. Okay. Whatever. None of it's mine. It doesn't matter anyways. My gaming trends. Whatever. Number one, action, 41%. Number two, adventure, 28%. That must include Minecraft, I guess. Shooting, 17%. Simulation, 8%. Role-playing, 4%. Thank you, Mario RPG. Number six, character-driven, 2%. What the hell is character-driven? So my number one was action, 48%. So that's got to be Zelda. Yeah. Number two, adventure, 40%. Hmm. I that almost just seems like Zelda's they're splitting Zelda. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> These are the puzzle parts. These are the action parts. Because 
Yeah, I played 142 hours and 98 hours were Zelda. So that doesn't that doesn't make sense. Yeah, the percent doesn't make sense. Zelda just by itself would account for about 60 something percent yeah. unless they split it between action and adventure or something. I don't know. Shooting 5%, I guess that's Metroid. Role playing 5%, I guess Mario RPG and then classic games, Game Boy probably 2%. So that's weird. They must be splitting Zelda I didn't do into any, action and adventure. That's weird. It didn't register me any uh, classic games, but we played them a lot, especially when we were at the beach. That's what we always do. We just hook up the Switch and play the... Uh, oh, I didn't bring the Switch. No, I brought the classic. That's what it was. That's yeah. why. Um, Derek's three games. Mario Wonder, 18 hours. Metroid Dread, three hours. Lego Harry Potter, uh, two hours. Uh, let's see. My most played month was May, 103 hours. May 81 hours. Um, January 26 hours played. February 31 hours. March 5 hours. April 3 hours. May 103. June 57. July 34. August 8. September 8. October 15. November 44 hours played. My most played game was Mario RPG for 21 hours. Holy cow. Wow. And then, oh, it doesn't have December. That's stupid. Anything interesting for you there? No, I mean, May by a long shot, 81 hours. February, well, June was next at 19. February 15, November 13. <coughs> August, October 5, July 1. It's just kind of all over. Obviously, Zelda was the big thing. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. And then the last thing, it says, what was your favorite game? And it shows you the games you played and how many hours you played them. So, Super Mario RPG, 21 hours. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Animal Crossing, 14 hours. I definitely didn't do that. Metroid Prime Remastered was 13 hours. So far, we've played, whenever this stopped, Mario Wonder for five hours. We've got more than five hours of Let's Plays up. So, we've definitely played it more than that. Smash for one hour. Sega Ages Virtual Race, Virtual Racing, one hour. I forgot I even bought that. It was on sale for two bucks. Rayman Legends, Casey played it for less than an hour. Mario Party, less than an hour. Mario Maker 2, less than an hour. Mario Odyssey, less than an hour. F-099, less than an hour. NES, less than an hour. Luigi's Mansion 3 and Pokemon Scarlet, all less than an hour. Uh, I've got, again, Zelda for 98, Metroid 15, Mario RPG 13, Game Boy 6 hours. Wow. Well, you did play through all the six golden coins, didn't you? No. I, I played like did. a couple levels. Oh, okay. Well. Um, what else would I have played on Game Boy? That's weird. I wonder if I just left it paused or something. Right. I really don't remember. Hmm. Um, Mario Wonder, only four hours. I've done more than that here. Yeah. Uh, Mario Maker, three hours. <laughs> Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, I don't even remember playing. Less than one hour. Hmm. NES, less than one hour. SNES, less than one hour. And that's it. All right. Let's move on to the much more interesting one. Yes. PlayStation's wrap-up. Mario Wonder, five hours for John Tingley. Mario Winder. Super Mario RPG, four hours, and I can't see what that says. Dream. Drew. Dream, Drew. <laughs> Drew. We've got oh, a heart just... <laughs> in front of it in OBS, so I don't know what it says. Less than an hour. All right. PlayStation's wrap-up. Uh, here it is. My first game played uh -huh. in 2023 was Crisis Core, Final Fantasy VII Reunion. I think I got that for Christmas. I don't remember. You got it. I think I got it. For yeah, 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 yeah. <sighs> Hang on. I got to sign back in. Whoa, you sure spiced things up with heaps of variety and it all started with a quest, is what it says. I wonder if that's what I feel like says. mine said something like that. <laughs> all right. Uh, I don't know. First game, Ender Lilies. Ender Lilies. January huh. 2nd. Yeah, you sure spiced things up with heaps of variety and it started with a quest. Fair enough. In 2023, I played 57 games. What the hell? I just shrunk. Did you... <laughs> I just realized all of a sudden I looked over and I was like, why am I why am I not at the microphone height anymore? I'm gonna be so pissed if this if this chair just broke. I played fifty seven oh, games. What did gosh. you play? Um 
I play how many? 57. <clears throat> wow. 29. How did you play so many games? I did get a lot of cheap platinums, but not yeah. that many, not 30. That's crazy. I'm curious to see our trophies. Yeah. All right, next up, my top five games. All right. So Number one was kind of a shock. Mine's not. I mean, I'm not really shocked, but... I'm going to start at number five for me. Okay. Spider-Man 2. 30 hours. Got the platinum. Number four. This is annoying, but I do know that I logged in under me and let them play this sometimes so they could play <clears throat> either online or like three people playing at once, you know? Minecraft, 34 hours. So that sucks. Hmm. Number three is hilarious. Because it's, uh, that would be Death Stranding Director's Cut. Wow. When I played through it again for 34 hours. Number two, I didn't ever get the platinum, but I spent 37 hours in Star Wars Jedi Survivor. And number one, Final Fantasy 16, 73 hours for 50 trophies and a platinum. My number five, and the only one of the five that I didn't get the platinum in yet, Sea of Stars. 41 hours, no platinum. Mine must have just missed it because I think I was right around just under 30 hours. So, yeah. If you don't count Minecraft, that would have been my number five. Uh, number four, Resident Evil 4, 57 hours. Wow. I got the platinum yeah. there. <laughs> I had like three or four playthroughs yeah. or something. Uh, number three, ow, Rogue Legacy 2. Oh, yeah. 64 hours. Holy cow, really? And a platinum. Wow. Uh, number two, Final Fantasy 16. Not number one. 69 hours oh, and a so platinum. Jedi Survivor is number one. No? That I'm guessing that would have been six. Didn't you get that platinum? <clears throat> <clears throat> then how the hell did I spend... I spent 37 hours in that stupid game and I didn't even come close to the I mean, platinum. Sea of Stars was 41. I'm oh, guessing okay. Jedi was like 40, 30, okay. probably not far behind. Uh, number one, I can't even think of what, uh, no. Did you do DQ 11 this year? No. Crisis core. Holy cow. 70 hours. Really? And the platinum. So I got to go back and finish sea of stars at some point, but God, I like that game, but I'm not feeling this platinum. Yeah. And it's going to be so easy. Like I'm just destroying new game plus and there's not really I need to beat the game and then I just need to stop, go talk to somebody, and then I get the platinum pretty much. It's not going to be hard, but some of those areas that I'm like, I'm like, oh God, I still have to go there. Oh, I have to do that part. Yeah. Oh my God, I got to do all that stuff. Oh man, I got to do that stuff. And I'm just like, I don't want to do it. But like, I got the Resident Evil Village platinum like two years after the fact like right. i'm going to get this platinum at some, at some point, point yeah but god i don't know it's bothering me that i haven't gotten it but yeah now this is funny for me wait so what was your number one and how long 16 for 73 okay next up this is funny to me but based on my number one i guess it makes sense my gaming style is role player 26% yep. of your game time, leveling up, completing fetch quests, and saving the world once again. Uh, 43% for me. Wow. I'm guessing that's... I don't remember what my total... Wait, did it ever say <laughs> total playtime? Have we gotten to there yet? No. I think it says it at some point, though. And did you see they did... Well, between Crisis Core and Final Fantasy 16, that's... Like 150 hours. 139. Okay. So I'm guessing that's probably 40%, you know, probably around 300-something hours. So, yeah. Next up for me... Year in play, month by month. My game of the month for January, Dead Space, for eight hours. Oh, God. Wait. Oh. Wait. Mine's Crisis Core, mm -hmm. 70 hours. So I did it all in January. But then it says hours logged, 76. I guess that means total. Yes. But that's 70 total. were in January. I had 57 gaming sessions for 40 hours. I played 20 different games and got 202 trophies. Wait, where do you see that? Oh, just in January? Yeah. 
I had 24 sessions, 70, oh, 76 is total hours played in January. Correct. It has nothing to do with that game. Right, right, Okay, right. so 76 hours in January, 70 of them. <clears throat> How many games did you play? Two? Four. Okay. So 70 hours were Crisis Core, and then the other six hours were three other games. Okay. February, I guess Dead Space, I don't remember what day it came out, but it must have been right at the end of January. Because February, my game of the month was Dead Space for 11 hours. I had 47 gaming sessions for 30 hours. I played 10 games and only got 37 trophies. I got 202 trophies in January. I wonder what the hell I was playing. Uh, February, it was Dead Space for me to 11 hours out of 20 for the month. Five games, 44 trophies. Okay. March, game of the month. I assume we both have the same one, RE4. Mm -hmm. Uh, Eight hours for me. 15 for me. That doesn't seem right. But it came out pretty late in the month. It did? I did the bulk of mine in April. Okay. <laughs> I had 17 gaming sessions, so I guess 17 days. I wonder if that. I wonder what that means. For 15 hours, I played seven games, only got seven trophies. I wasn't... Oh, March! Duh! That's when my wife almost died. Hello! Yeah, that's right. Okay. Oh, <laughs> yeah. That whole thing. Yeah. Uh, yeah, 15 hours, RE4, 23 hours total, four games played, 21 trophies. For April, this is a funny one. I forgot I even bought this game. But my game of the month for April with 26 hours was MLB The Show 23. This is when I still had hope for the Yankees. Uh, I had 69 gaming sessions. Nice. I logged 60 hours, played 10 games, and got 55 trophies. 69 gaming sessions? That's like more than two a day. Yeah. I guess it's probably how many times you turned it on, essentially. Well, that makes. I guess it makes sense. Like if I played at lunch... I played a little bit after dinner, and then yeah. I turned it off to put the kids to bed, and then I play again. But that's still like three a day. That's cr- that does, that's weird. That's weird. <laughs> what was your April? Uh, April number one was RE4. Oh, yeah. 41 hours wow. compared to 15 in March. Uh, 32 gaming sessions, <laughs> so I even averaged more than one a day. 45 hours, 41 was RE4. Only three games played, 35 trophies. All right, for May, I assume we both have the same game of the month, Jedi Survivor. For me, it was 27 hours. Uh, 36. And I wish I knew when I got the Platinum. That's probably yeah. how much I probably did it <clears throat> right. all in May. Oh, yeah, I only played one game in May. Okay, well, there you and go. It was Jedi, and it was 36 <clears throat> hours and 50 trophies. So. so I got 27 hours in Jedi, 32 sessions, 30 hours, four games played, so I would have played a little bit of MLB. I don't know what else, but 22 trophies. Then for June, I like this. I didn't realize I played it this much, but I did get the platinum twice, so I guess it makes sense. Game of the month for June, Bat Boy, 16 hours. I had 51 sessions for 45 hours, nine games played, 58 trophies. Not Final Fantasy? No, that's July. But it also came Weird. Out, didn't it come out right at the end of June? I don't know, but I spent 48 hours playing it in June. <laughs> so <laughs> it couldn't come out that late in the month. Oh, you know, we might have gone on a trip or so. I think we did go on a trip. Then. Maybe. Um, yeah, 48 hours. Oh, I played a lot in June. <clears throat> 48 hours. I mean, Final Fantasy was number one with 48 hours, but I played 85 hours total. I only had 45 hours total. You played more Final Fantasy <laughs> than I played my everything. And I only played three games, but I got 96 trophies. That was a big month. Yeah, I got 58 trophies. Game of the month for July for me was Final Fantasy 16 with 41 hours. Okay. My, well, go ahead. Uh, I had 40 sessions for 41 hours. I played one game and I got 35 trophies. So I guess I finished the trophy, the platinum up because it took me 70 something hours. So I played a little bit in June and then a little bit in August because it's not my game of the month for August. Uh, July number one for me was Rogue Legacy 2, uh, 64 hours, 64 out of 84 total. Wow. Uh, games played three, 51 trophies. That tells you how much I love Final Fantasy 16 that I didn't play another game for a whole month. Yeah. August for me, this is hilarious. Death Stranding Director's Cut for 34 hours. <laughs> 55 gaming sessions, 65 total hours. I played nine games, and I earned 46 trophies. Uh, August, Blasphemous 2, number one for me, 19 Uh, hours. Okay. 19 out of 40 hours total. Played eight games in August, so I couldn't really... 
other than Blasphemous. I'm like, I'll play a little bit of this, a little yeah. bit of that. Uh, 86 trophies, though. A lot of trophies, but spread across multiple games. Multiple. Multiple. September, I assume we have the same Sea of Stars for Game of the Month. Yeah. Only Tw- game I played. 26 hours for me. I had 38 sessions, 55 total hours. Only played three games, so I played something else for 29 hours. Um, three games, 40, 31 trophies. 35 hours, all Sea of Stars, okay. 36 trophies. October, I assume it's the same, Spider-Man 2. Yeah, but pretty low. 23. When did it come out? October 20th. Okay, so maybe some of it spilled into November. Oh, I was gone. That's when I was in Vancouver. Oh, yeah, you were. You missed the launch of that and say, Mario. Because yeah. I only played it for nine hours in October. Okay. John says his game count is messed up because of the random games I played on extra premium. Exactly. Yep. And that, that's when we were talking about a few weeks ago, like what's the percentage of games you actually beat? That's going to screw it up as well. Um, oh, yeah. So October for me, 23 hours of Spider-Man 2, 19 sessions, 26 total hours, three games played for 16 trophies. And then November, it was also Spider-Man 2, but I barely played my PlayStation. My game of the month was Spider-Man 2 with seven hours. In November? <laughs> yep. Mine was Last Faith, 17 hours, 17 hours, 17 hours, Last Faith out of 31 total. I only played two games. I don't know what the other game was, but yeah. that was, oh, that was probably the remainder of Spider-Man. That was yeah. 14 hours. So I guess by that I played Spider-Man for 23 hours total. That sounds about right for the Platinum. And then December, I don't know when this cut off because I've actually played this longer. <laughs> It actually says Grand Theft Auto Online for 12 hours, but I have not played Grand Theft Auto Online at all. That's just, it's GTA 5 for 12 hours. But I think I'm at like 21 hours now. So whenever this cut off, I don't know, but 15 sessions, 18 hours, three games played, nine trophies. Uh, <coughs> December, Power Wash Simulator. Oh, yeah. 25 hours. <laughs> 10 hours. Okay. Uh, out of 18 hours total, played eight games. That's I played like five of them just last week. Right. Um, only 10 trophies. So my best trophy month was June with 96. And then I had two with 86. Okay. Then next up, there's a playlist for role players. This is stupid because one of these games I already own. So why are you telling me to buy it? It tells me to buy Dragon Quest 11. I tried that. Trials of Mana, Sea of Stars. I put 30 hours into the thing. Final Fantasy 10, 10, 2 HD. Uh, Scarlet Nexus. That's not a role-playing game, I don't think, but I could be wrong. Then Star Ocean, The Divine Force. That's hilarious. I've got the exact same six, but in a different order. I don't oh, know if that weird. means anything. Okay, yeah, here we go. Now, th- I bet. I wonder if you've got me beat here. This year you played 437 hours. 497. Nice. You spent 81% of your game time playing... 30 games on your PS5. I have 92.76% playing 25 games. I don't get that. Oh, okay. 18.76% on 30 PS4 games. Okay. And there's no nothing else. And I spent, oh God, 1.6% of my game time playing seven games on PSVR 2. Uh, two point six percent for me. Thirteen games. On I didn't play VR seven two. games on VR two. That must count. That's weird. That must be count my kids. My favorite dual sense is my blue one. <laughs> All you've got is the white one, so it's your favorite. <laughs> yep. I mean, I, I've got two of them. I don't know which one it is. But. I thought that was funny. Your favorite dual sense. So you beat me in hours. Let's see if you beat me in trophies. I assume you must have. I don't know. In twenty twenty three, I earned five hundred and forty five trophies. <sighs> 582. I had 15 Platinums. I only got 10. Really? It was an off year for me. Well, <laughs> but I bet I got you in gold. <laughs> no, I bet you don't. Really? Because I did cheap Platinums. I've got yeah. 124 gold. Holy crap. Yeah. I got 48. I have more gold than silver. I have 100 silver. Okay. I got 131 okay. silver. And 306 bronze. We're probably close. 393 bronze. Well, not close at all. Okay. <laughs> Your trophy level increased 18 levels. I went from 403 bronze to 421 silver, I guess. I think that's what that's showing. I went up 13. Yeah, I guess I have the same. 358 bronze to 371 <clears throat> silver. What does it even mean? I don't know. Next up, 
We're getting to the end here. My social style is squad hero. You put in 14 <laughs> hours with your squad. What squad? What squad? I mean, we played Fortnite for like two hours. That's Mine's all hilarious, and it mind. doesn't even make sense. <clears throat> Mine is the friend maker. With your magnetic personality, you made one new friend this year. <laughs> I don't know who it was. Chris, maybe? I don't know who my one new friend on one PSN friend. was. But I made one new friend, so my social style is the friend maker. And that shows you how little I play online, which is not at all. I bet that squad hero stuff, Casey was probably playing mine. It's all, it's the kids. Under yeah. my login, because I think that's the only one that works for online. But whatever. PlayStation stars, nine collectibles and 6,420 points. I couldn't. I got I 13 collectibles and 7,600 points. I don't, I don't, I didn't know that I got any. And then the last one, is there anything here? Let's see. What a year. Share your memories. Back lone back. wolf. I'm, I don't know why I'm not a lone wolf. I would like to be a lone wolf. I mean, I am a lone wolf in real life, but yep. Um, for giggles. I did do my Xbox year in review. Okay. Even though everybody plays on my login because I don't give a crap about my Xbox. A year in review. Oh, I got to sign in. Son of a biscuit. Hold on. Let's see. Xbox.com. Loading, loading. And my kids haven't played it for like the last six months. Okay. My lifetime gamer score. I don't know how this compares to platinum trophies, but it's 5,180. My Xbox was played for 678 hours. 22 wow. games. I only got 170 gamer score from 11 achievements. So you can tell they were just playing like Apex and Fortnite and stuff. Yeah. Top genre, 66% action adventure, 31% sports. So Noah was playing 2K, I guess. 2% yeah. shooter, 1% role playing. That's uh, uh, that one game that's like Chrono. Oh, God. Chained Echoes, I guess. Uh, never once was uh, Cyberpunk any of your top played games. I would have thought it would have been in oh, like yeah, August, September, twenty whatever hours. time frame. Yeah, I think I played October. I think it was maybe it was August. No, because I played only. De I don't know. <laughs> that, that's true because I think I played it for 20 something hours. You're in the top percent of players for hours played. Awesome. Uh, my number one most played game. There you go. NBA 2K23, 209 hours. Wow. So that would be Noah before I took it back downstairs. And I took it back downstairs like six months ago and he hasn't missed it. He's just been playing PlayStation. So he played 209 hours in the first like half of the year. Jeez. Number two, Minecraft for 203 hours. Casey. I guess, but he never plays on Xbox. Now maybe that's just counting my login because it's my... It's my Minecraft login that's attached to, like, that, the PlayStation, the Mac. Uh, you know what I mean? Maybe. <clears throat> so I don't get that. Number three, Roblox for 87 hours. That would be Casey. <laughs> now it's on PlayStation. I hate Nick for downloading it on my PlayStation. I hope you had as much fun. Oh, so their wrap-up sucks. Of course it does. Xbox sucks. So that was mine just for giggles. You send it a year and a half before I saw it. Oh, yeah. Derek's the one person. It was Derek that accepted your friend oh, really? forever after you. <laughs> That's right. Oops, I hit the mic. Oops, I Oops, grabbed, I my, grabbed pants. my pants. <laughs> oh, man, I've got a story. I'm not telling it on here. Did you crap your pants? No, but it's it's in the same vein. All right. Wow, that took a half hour just to get through that. That's cool. Um, so we're going to do the year in review, but first, what have we been playing? I've been playing GTA Five. Uh, like I said, I'm up to 21 hours now. Um, I love playing this on PS5. Like I said last time, it's just so smooth. I love this freaking game so much. Um, and I'm right near... I'm getting ready to, to, to do the big last heist, where they do the heat heist, where you do the bank and everything. They basically ripped off okay. heat 100%. And it's so cool. And then you've got a chance, uh, you, you've got a choice of how you want to end the story because, you know, there's three protagonists. You don't have to necessarily have everyone live. You can choose to kill this person or that person or that person. I took the good way out the first time I played it. I'm probably going to take the good way out this time as well. Because hmm. um, I, to me, that's the canon ending. I don't, I, I couldn't see anybody turning on each other, but whatever. Um, but yeah, I just, I love it. It's so much fun. It is totally worth it for you to at least just play it just to see it on ps5 
and that amazing frame rate and everything, it's so good. Because yeah. I think when we played GTA Online this year, I think we just played the PS4 version on our PS5. I don't think we ever played GTA Online once the next gen version came. I think out. I logged into it. I know I played it for a little bit, okay. but maybe we never played online together. together. But yeah, I think I just signed on to see. I'm like, it looks good, <laughs> but it looked good already. Um, but yeah. But that's it. All I play is GTA 5, and I don't think I'm going to play anything. Five PS play games played, most played was Death Stranding. 55 hours. Hell yes, wow. Derek. Yes. That's awesome. Uh, yeah, I've played Power Wash. I mean, I've been gone for the last five days or oh, so. Oh, yeah, that's true. You haven't um, hardly but yet. that was all I played. I did download Power Wash. I haven't tried it yet. It's fun. There's, it's, I don't know. It's it's addictive. I'm going to show that to Jess because I feel like Jess would be like, cause as, as stressed as she is running a school. Like, it is, it's very just yeah. like zen and it's, just it's like. It's the bonsai uh, garden. It's like the, the garden. Yeah, the, exactly. The zen garden, whatever it was. Yeah. 192 hours across all three platforms. What's the third? PS3? What is it? What is, Derek doesn't have VR2, right? I wonder what's what's the third platform. Vita? There's no way they count. Sweet old Vita. I don't know why I just <laughs> said it like it was a dog. Is that what it sounded like to you? Know, I didn't know what you said. I thought you said sweet old, sweet old Vita. Oh, <laughs> there's no way they count sweet old Vita. We looked up, you know, slip a sable under the tree. For me. me, I was. We were driving home. I was like, "What the f is a sable? A Mercury sable?" That's what Jess thought. No, oh, I thought I it was Buick, right? No, it's, it's Buick. Mercury. That's Mercury. Hundred percent. La Saber is Buick. La Sabre. La Sabre. Damn it. <laughs> um, Does it mean like a hat? Oh, across all three platforms. Sorry, I thought you meant all PlayStation platforms. Oh, okay. It is like a fur it's like a fur yeah you have like a kill, sable hat they kill these cute animals and they they some some sable things can go for like hundred and fifty thousand dollars, and it's just disgusting i was like jess you gotta stop i'm, I'm getting so mad wow i think you're gonna be okay it's three nothing i know but i know trust me if it was maybe the same <laughs> way. all right sean no news i mean there's some news but we'll get to it in the wrap-up time for the year in review i love doing this um for the 2024 looking ahead, I just went through the Wikipedia page. For this, that would have been way too much. I was like, I want to just do what I did last year and say, January, this stuff happened that I think is important. February, so on, so on, so on. So in January, let's kick it off. On the 6th, NetEase acquired Skybox Labs. Damn you, NetEase. Damn you, Tencent. I don't even know what Skybox Labs is. I just want to put that in there to say I hate them. On January 18th, Stadia. You know what? You might as well just look at your game score. And then I can just surprise you with what's on the list. You know what I mean? No, uh, I mean, I'll follow along. Yeah, okay. <laughs> 18th, Stadia is officially shut down. All purchases refunded. Only Google could do that. Be like, yeah, yeah and here's all your money back. Yeah. Whatever. Here's millions of dollars we took in. You can have it all back. Uh, on the 19th, Persona 3 Portable and Persona 4 Golden launched on everything. I will say... I'm thinking about it now with me being an RPG -er. about gold about P4 golden because everybody so many people say it's the best role playing game ever made wow I mean I don't know I don't know much about persona it's Japanese high schoolers and they right I mean I know or something. persona 5 more than anything and I don't really know much about that but but I also feel like also as one of the few people that loved and played the vita i almost feel like i should play it on there just because but i'm like i don't want to <laughs> <laughs> if i'm gonna do it it'll be on the big screen number 20 switch got a early game of the year contender not for us but for some people fire emblem engage launched on the 20th i'm not going to get into strategy strategy rpgs happy holidays everyone what's up steve Apple? hey steve. wishing you and yours the season's best happy Same holidays to you, steve um I'm not going to get into strategy RPGs. I'm just not. Because that's the, the fact that I can even play turn-based RPGs is amazing. Um, and then Monster Hunter Rise, which was already out on Switch and PC for a while, came out in PlayStation and Xbox. On the 24th, a game that neither of us... I forget, did you play the demo of the Forspoken launched on January 24th as a PS5 I played exclusive. the demo for... We both played the demo. Though. Five minutes, And we were maybe. like, this sucks. Yeah. I didn't get it. You're just like rollerblading through the grass. 
with magic and you're pew pew like i didn't i didn't get it yeah i didn't even care about the dialogue and all that i just didn't like the way the game played it looked beautiful but i did not like the way it played on the 25th of january hi-fi rush launched on game pass that's something i should download on my xbox just to see what the fuss i'm is. shocked you haven't yeah <laughs> what that's not worth it what, because I said what no, the no. fuss is? It's <laughs> not what I thought you were going to say. <laughs> I should download that. And just see what the fuss. <laughs> uh, but yes, I'm shocked you haven't played that yet. That is something. I think that could be fun. What the fuss everybody likes <laughs> about this game. <laughs> uh, then on the 27th, my early game of the year contender, Dead Space Remake, launched. And I, I'm so happy that I didn't play the original because this is perfect. Like, when it comes to, like, moodiness and everything. Can you smell my Bengay? I got a patch on my back because my back hurts. Can you, I just realized I can smell it. <laughs> I don't okay. think so. I don't think so. Um, oh, yeah. The controls are so much better than the original. They took some stuff from the second one and moved it into this. Um, Dead Space was awesome. I liked it a lot. I'm curious when I actually give some serious thought to my Game of the Year list where it's going to end up yeah it's on there but i think it's gonna be pretty low but i did enjoy it a lot it's where i've got it right now i need to go over my top 10 again but where i've got it as of right now it's lower than i thought it would have been at the beginning of the year but i don't think at the beginning of the year we knew this year was going to be what it was right yeah <clears throat> and then on the 29th this is horribly sad annie Worshing dies of cancer at only 45 years old she played tess in the last of that. us she was renee in 24 did you watch 24 I watched like a season of it. The later seasons, or maybe not the later ones, they got kind of bad, but there was a couple seasons where she was in there and she was on Jack's side and everything, and she was awesome in that. And I was hoping her and Jack were going to fall in love, and it didn't happen. I don't actually, I need to watch that whole series again. I don't remember anything that happens, but I did forget that she played Tess. Um, but yeah, 45 years old. Horrible. Crazy. All right, happier times. Let's get into February. On February 8th, lots of prayers were answered when Metroid Prime Remastered finally launched on Switch. How far ahead of that launch did we hear about it? Was it just like a week or something? It was that day. That oh, was it was a direct. That, oh, wow. They said, it's out now. And then they said, physical, you can get it in like a month or whatever. Yeah, yeah. I'm glad I played it. I didn't beat it, though. Because once I read what you have to do with all the collectibles and you got to put them all in the statue or whatever, I was like, okay, never mind. I'm not doing this. It's not that bad, but yeah. What did you think being able to go back to it and have it look amazing? As amazing as a Oh, Switch I mean, game I loved look. it on the GameCube. Yeah. Um, it's every bit as good, maybe better than what i remembered to me it's the best of the three i don't know yeah. if that's the prevailing thought about I think that it is. just because it seems like like for two and three i'm pretty sure they're both they both just have like dark samus as like a uh, antagonist i think, I think. It was just three maybe corruption she's definitely or in that echo, but i forget I, which i kind is. of thought she was in both but like Two and three both just felt, and I think I've said this before, they both feel like those Zelda games where Ganon's not in it yeah. and you're not in Hyrule and it's just one of those like, eh, like, so that's why I think to me the first one was always my favorite, but <clears throat> yeah, that's a great game. The The thing that I always wondered how it was going to work is the platforming because that's such a big thing in Metroid. I was like, how do you do this in first person? But then like I played Doom Eternal when it came out and I was like, okay, you can platform in first person. Like, this is awesome. Yeah. Uh... Hogwarts Legacy launched on February 10th and those boycotts did wonders for the sales mm -hmm. because it's only the best selling game in the US for the entire year. It's mm -hmm. going to beat Call of Duty. I don't care about Hogwarts Legacy at all. I I'm not I don't it, I don't dislike it and it's not because of what's her face. Yeah, I just I, never I into don't Harry care. <laughs> that was a bad that was a bad accent. Harry Potter. <laughs> I thought you said Harry Papa. It's <laughs> a um, gamer tag. Uh, yeah, I don't really care about it. Uh, part of me is just glad that it sold as well as it did because of this attempted boycott. Yeah, whether so. I want to play it or not, it just makes me happy that it sold a billion copies. Yeah. Uh, on the 15th, I forgot that this was this year, uh, Returnal launched on PC. And All that right. was not as big a launch as I thought it was going to be. I thought that was going to do really well over there. Yeah. 
Uh, on the 17th, Super Nintendo World opens up in Universal Studios Hollywood. And my God, I've got to get there. Mm-hmm. On the 22nd, the biggest hardware launch of the year happened. And it was PSVR 2, Call of the Mountain, all the other stuff. And I've never gone back since I got motion sickness. Even for RE4. I need to try RE4. I, I you definitely need to. Yeah. When I'm off for like a week and a half to end the year, I'm going to I'm gonna. Did you ever play Village at all? Yeah, I got, but I okay. stopped after it's the It's very crash. similar. Okay. Um, yeah. PSVR 2. Like we said, I, I don't necessarily regret my purchase yet. But man, that was $550. <laughs> yeah. Sunk cost at this point. That's fine. Uh, on the 24th of February, Kirby's Return to Dreamland Deluxe launched on Switch. I did not remember that this was this year. Uh, time out. Okay. I don't really know anything about it, but I saw there was some new... Uh, uh, I can't remember what it's called. Some kind of Norse... I don't remember the name. But some new Vikings? R- some new RPG game that just came out. Okay. And it's oh, the Asgard's sequel. Wrath. That's it. That's like a 10 out of 10. But is it on PS5? No. It's not. A, it's a VR game. Right. Right. No, that's what I mean. But is it yeah. on PSVR 2? It's not right now. But if it it's is, like I'm like. Quest only, I think. I'm like. Yeah. I don't know anything about it, but like 10 out of 10 RPG game in VR, like I'm in. So. And John says syn- pick up Synapse on PSVR 2. Okay. But yeah, that Asgard's Wrath, I'm like, okay. I, when I saw IGN gave it a 10, I was like. I haven't even seen any gameplay, but I'm just like mm. RPG and 10 out of 10. Like, okay. Yep. Uh, and then Octopath Traveler 2 also launched on the 24th on Switch and PlayStation. I forgot that was this year. Yeah. I thought that was last year. This year's stupid. It's been crazy. We get to March, March 3rd. Another game I forgot that came out this year. Wo Long Fallen Dynasty came out. I did not think that was this. This this has been a really long year as well. And of course, March, I don't remember anything because my wife almost died. Um, I almost did a horrible transition there. But I'm glad I didn't. I mean, you kind of I kind of you kind of did. Anyway. Um, but March 17th, Lance Reddick passes away at 60 from heart disease. Um, Destiny did some awesome tributes to him. Horizon did an awesome tribute to him in game as well. Um, it is interesting what the heck they're going to do. I, I know Derek's playing through it, so I'm, we wouldn't spoil anything here. But <clears throat> silence is a big part of both games, and he's yeah. going to be a big part of the third. I assume. I just wonder what they. And, and they said they're not going to recast. Yeah. They, they said they're not gonna. So I'm like, well, does he just kind of? Do they do some weird AI voice stuff if his you know family allows it, or do they just use what they already had? Like I don't, I don't know. Yeah. But. Yeah, and Lance Reddick was he was awesome. Uh, March twentieth, GDC takes place finally in person in San Francisco. But I don't think we really got anything out of that that I can remember. Any big news? Um, on the twenty second, Atari announced they were acquiring Night Dive Studios. Resident Evil Four launched on the twenty fourth. There you go. There's the date. Mm, so okay. that's why I only put in eight hours. Yeah. Oh, Steve Appleton's been loving walkabout mini golf lately. Made me dust off the PSVR too. I've got it. My I've got it too. It. I just we haven't should... tried it yet. We need to do it and just play online and try to record it or something. Oh, that would be fun. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah Resident Evil four on the 24th. We all knew it was going to get remade at some point, but actually finally playing through that, I was like, and I'll save most of my thoughts for game of the year, but what a freaking game. And it's it also fantastic. Kind of like tears of the kingdom made breath of the wild obsolete. This makes the original game completely obsolete. Yeah. To me. No, I can see it. Yeah. Uh, on March 27th, Nintendo officially shut down the 3DS and Wii U eShops. I forgot that was this year as well. <laughs> I kind of thought they were still open and they were going to go when the other stuff gets shut down. And then on March 28th, my awesome pick in the fantasy draft comes out The Last of Us Part 1 on PC <laughs> and it gets me a 57 one of the best games ever made and they just completely screw the pooch with a PC port mm-hmm. are you really covering up the score <laughs> just because ahead. you don't want to see if he kicks the field goal god almighty don't worry about it I'm glad I'm not playing fantasy anymore um, and then on March 30th the ESA announced that E3 2023 was being cancelled due to the major publishers not wanting to be a part of it <laughs> stay tuned for a little bit later in the podcast with more news on E3 um, 
In April, on April 3rd, Legendary Entertainment acquired the TV and movie rights for Street Fighter. I knew I this was a thing this year. I just that. forgot about I to- it. Yeah, I totally forgot about that. I want to see what they do. I think they're going to do something live action. I I don't know. I don't know how you can top the first Street Fighter movie. Uh, April 12th, Ghostwire Tokyo finally comes out on Xbox, a Bethesda game that obviously they couldn't put it on there until then because it was a PlayStation exclusive before everything happened. Um, April 18th, Minecraft Legends launches. I didn't play it. My kids didn't play it. They didn't, they didn't even, even Casey was like, I just want to play regular Minecraft. And then on the 18th, the Final Fantasy Pixel Remasters launched on Switch and PlayStation. I got to play Final Fantasy VI. I got to. One of these days, I will play through it. Because didn't you only try it on your phone, the phone version or something? The iPhone That's version? where I've played the majority of it, okay. yeah. Which is probably the worst way to try to do yeah. it. Uh, let's see. April 20th, PlayStation acquires Firewalk Studios. Yep. Can't wait for clear gains. Clever gains. What's it called? Claire Danes? <laughs> Or whichever, whichever, or Concord. I forget which game is theirs. I hate that Nick does that. If you just heard that's screaming, Nick. that's Nick being mad because he died. And they got that from Noah Nixon, and it bugs the shit out of me. I hate it. They both end up doing that now when they're mad. Oh, <laughs> God. Okay. April 21st, Advance Wars 1 Plus 2 Reboot Camp launched on Switch. That was delayed from last year. Finally came out this year. Dead Island 2 also came out on the 21st, a game that we first saw the trailer for 10 years ago, I think. Something like E3 that. E3 2013, maybe it was 2014. Um, came out and it was like a 75 on Metacritic. I'm just glad it finally came out. That's awesome. And then Honkai Star Rail launched on the 26th on PC and mobile. I could not care less. And then Jedi Survivor launched on the 28th. So that was right at the end of the month also, yeah. Jedi Survivor comes out on current gen and PC on the 28th. This this year's stupid. It's packed. Those two games between Resident Evil, Jedi Survivor, which I definitely like better than Fallen Order, and uh Dead Space, those easily could have been my top three in any other year. Yeah. They will not be, because <laughs> no. this year was crazy, but it's it's awesome. Let's get to May. May second, Redfall launches, and I wrote here and it bombs. Mm-hmm. And it got like a fifty on Metacritic. I don't know how a first party Xbox game comes out that broken. This is bad. They had to literally put stickers on the physical boxes to cover up the 60 frames per second thing because they couldn't get it there at launch. Oh my God, I forgot about that. How does that happen? Now, they did patch it in, so at least they stuck with it and everything, so good on them for that. But man, I don't understand how that comes out, how that happens, I mean. Uh, let's see. May 5th, Hogwarts Legacy launches on last gen PS4 and the X-Bone. So even more sales. And then May 12th, my fears were assuaged when Tears of the Kingdom came out and I fell in love. This game was just amazing. Finally. What? I'm just saying, finally came out. After oh, I thought you were saying finally. They didn't kick it no, off. <laughs> no, nothing's happened yet. Yeah, because they announced it in 2019, I think, right? I think that's, yeah. In that first trailer, we were like, oh my God, Ganondorf, are you kidding me? I'm so glad it did turn out to be Ganondorf and not like some red herring or something. Because that, right. that would have really pissed me off if it was some just some zone eye or something like that. Uh, May 24th, Beat Saber launched on PSVR 2. But unfortunately for James Solar, it only received three reviews, so it did not count towards his fantasy draft. <laughs> uh, Bat Boy came out on May 25th. I didn't know it came out then. I didn't play it till June until Colin talked about it, and I was in love with that game. That's awesome. On the 25th, also, game of the year, Lord of Ring Gollum. Lord of Ring. That's what they called it in the press release. They're like, we're sorry that Lord of Ring Gollum <laughs> sucks so bad. <laughs> they, they've been talking about that game for years at this point, I think, right? It's been a while. And it looked decent in all the pre-release stuff. And then it's like people actually played it and it was like, oh, man. I think it's like a 30-something on Metacritic. That's it. We hate it. Everybody hates it. <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> and then on May 30th, I cannot wait. I think this is coming to console this year, but I'm not 100% sure. I hope it is. The System Shock remake came out on PC. 
which was the progenitor. I forgot about that. The progenitor. I guess it wasn't Gus that scored a touchdown. No. Okay. I think you're good. The I'm progenitor not, not of Bioshock. I want to play this so bad. I'm not going to try to play it on this thing because I'm guessing. I don't know how. I, you'd probably be fine. I, <laughs> I hope it comes out on console. I want to play it. Moving into June. On June se- on June 2nd, Street Fighter 6 launched. I don't regret it because we had a fun stream. But besides that three-hour stream, I probably played it for three hours this year. Really? I did okay going online and stuff, but I was like, I'm realizing that fighting games now are just too advanced for me. Yeah, I feel like I'm, uh, I've written them off at this point. Like, I'll still sometimes, if I'm bored, I'll just fire up the 30th anniversary collection and go online with that. And I hold my own... Ohm, my own on two turbo and super two turbo alpha and whatever the other thing is that's online. I can't, I can't do it, but yeah, I don't regret my purchase and it was a 92 on Metacritic. Great game of, but I was just like, eh, I can, there's only so much you can do. Like we don't live together anymore. Yeah. I can't play it against my kid. They just want to play Fortnite and stuff. And like I could play against Casey. Okay. I give him the modern control. So he's just like, pew, 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 pew. <laughs> June 5th, Apple announced their $3,000 Apple Vision Pro. That's what it was, right? $3,000? I didn't I think it was $3,500. My God. Is or it maybe $2,500. Is it out? Is it either $25 or $35? No. And I don't know when it's coming out. I want it so bad. It looks awesome, but like. <laughs> you already bought a VR. <laughs> I'm not going to buy use. one that costs seven times as much. Yeah. It does look cool, though. On June 6th, Diablo 4 launched. People loved it at first, and then they hated it once the updates started coming out. I will say, when that finally hits Game Pass, I'm going to try it out. But I'm not going to spend 70 bucks to play it right now. No. Um, and it'll it'll come to Game Pass at some point next year. Summer Game Fest. They had their showcase on June 8th, and we were all disappointed with Jeff Keighley. Stay tuned to later in the year. Uh... On the 13th, the ASUS or ASUS, I don't know how you say it, the ROG Ally launched, which is their answer to the Steam Deck. And it's supposed to be really good. Hmm. On the 14th of June, Embracer announced that they missed out on a $2 billion billion deal, which will then result in large-scale restructuring. Stay tuned to later in the year. Uh, Embracer, I don't know how they keep going. June 20th, Rogue Legacy 2 finally launches, and it comes out on PS Plus Extra. Sean loved it. Sean freaking platinum did. I don't I know how. Loved it. It it scratched an itch. Like as soon as I got into it, I'm like, oh yeah, this is, <laughs> oh yeah, this is my jam. Oh yeah. Oh oh. <laughs> Pikmin one and two remastered launched on Switch on the 21st for James Solar. On the 22nd, Final Fantasy 16 launched on PS5, and I freaking loved it. One of my favorite games of all time. And then on the 29th, unfortunately, AEW Fight Forever came out, and I didn't want to get it. One of my most hyped games for this year, and I kind of forgot that it came out until yeah. seeing it here, and I don't know. That sucks. That is one of those, I will say, though, that I hope, and I could see it ending up either on Game Pass at some point or a PS Plus monthly game at some point. Yeah. I feel like that's got it written all over it, but we'll see. July was a slow month. On the 14th, Exoprimal launched. And if you don't remember Exo- Exoprimal, it's not Dino Crisis. <laughs> it's basically it. It's just dinosaurs and robots and nobody cared. Pikmin 4 launched on July 21st. People loved it. That's all I can say about that because I don't play it. Tencent announced that they were acquiring Techland on the 24th. F Tencent. I hope you're not listening to this. Don't come and kill me. Renmin 2 launched, and I feel like this launched pretty quietly, and then it just had a groundswell of everybody saying this game is freaking awesome. It launched on current-gen consoles and PC. I know, I think Chris was playing it, and he said it was freaking awesome. Yeah, I don't remember that being five months ago. I thought yeah. that was like two or three months ago. I don't think it picked up Steam till two or three months ago, yeah. Yeah, maybe that's <laughs> why. And then on July 26, Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart came to PC. August 3rd, Baldur's Gate 3. Oh, it came out on the 3rd. That's cute. Baldur's Gate 3 launched on PC on the 3rd. And then everybody forgot Zelda was even a thing. Mm-hmm. Ridiculous. Did you see IGN gave Zelda Game of the Year, though? Yeah. That made me happy that they didn't just drink the Kool-Aid. This is something I did not remember was this year. I thought this was last year. And this just happened a couple months ago. 
August 10th, Overwatch 2. What? That was this year? I forgot about it. And it wasn't even as... It was just the same game. It was... It's, oh, my God. It's a yeah. joke. QuakeCon took place uh, also on August 10th. Um, and I think that's when Quake Remastered or Quake 2 Remastered or something. It leaked and then it got announced. August 17th, Red Dead Redemption launched on Switch and PS4. The HD, the upscale version that quietly got a PS5 patch. So you can actually play it at 60 frames. Uh, August 7th, Vampire Survivors launched on Switch. Why? It's coming to Xbox or it's on Xbox, I forget. Why is it not on PlayStation? I would get it if the price is right. I would get that day one. I think it's five I had bucks on so Switch. much yeah. fun. Yeah, I would pay that. But I just don't want to because I think I've heard people say that it chugs even on Switch. I mean, it's just a little thing, but you've got a billion There's things. A lot you know. of stuff going on. Um, August eighteenth, Sega completed their Activision their acquisition of Rovio for seven hundred and seventy five million, and I still cannot for the life. I forgot about that too. Seven hundred and seventy five million dollars for Angry Birds. When was the last time you played Angry <laughs> Pretty Birds? Pretty much. I don't get it. I don't get it. Uh, August 21st, Nintendo announces that Charles Martinet, or is it Martinet? I never know how to say it. I have no idea, actually. Will no longer be the voice of Mario. I mean, he had to retire at some point. He's getting old. Gamescom takes place August 23rd. Don't remember a lot of news coming out of that either. Was that your foot? I think I just touched your foot. I hope it was your foot. (laughs) Otherwise, it was an animal. Uh, August 24th, Blasphemous 2 launches. Did you get that platinum you said? I did, yeah. Did. Armored Core 6 launched on the 25th. This is one I was very curious about, but I was like, there's just too much this I year. I think, yeah, it's... I don't know if I could do it. It seems too... It's pretty in-depth from what I do. Yeah, yeah. Like, I don't, I don't think it's for All the setup you got to do for all your different missions and everything. And then August 29th, the game that finally got me to play turn-based games, Sea of Stars launches with the constructionist now <laughs> no longer in there we don't need to talk about that i don't want him to sue me um he's full of shit by the way after i watched the follow-up videos i'm like wow i haven't watched the new ones but everything i've read yeah and he he said you know we're gonna go but there's the only thing i'm gonna say about it i'm gonna start we're gonna get back to normal and everything and i'm gonna sue you guys he didn't normally his videos came out every sunday he still hasn't put out a video really i think he's just done it does suck because I never got to watch his video on Tears of the Kingdom, which probably would have been an hour and a half long review on completing Tears of the Kingdom. I'm probably never going to get to see it now. <laughs> uh, and then August 31st, Embracer shuts down Volition. Like I said, they missed out on their $2 billion deal and the pain ensues. September. This is something I don't think we heard anything about, but Nintendo Live happened in Seattle. I forgot about that too. Like, we were hoping we were gonna there was gonna be a Switch Two announcement or something, yeah, or a game Mario announcement or something. We got nothing. September six, just about a month after it hit PC, Baldur's Gate three launches on PS five. The same day, Starfield launches on the Xbox Series and PC. And I'm glad we can just stop talking about this game. I read that and then I was like, huh. But in my head, I read it as Sea of Stars. I was like. No, that was much better. Yeah. Those stars were better than the field. Oh, you said something smart like that. I did. You said, like, I'm not going into the field of stars, but I am in the sea of stars or something. something. It, wasn't it was better than smart. that. <laughs> no, it was pretty much that. Uh, on September 7th, the ESA announced that there will be no E3 in 2024. Stay tuned for more news on that. Uh, September 13th, Unity comes out. This is when they announced their horrible licensing plan, and everybody was like, oh, F yeah. y'all. They quickly backtracked on that, but it was way too late. We'll talk about that here in a minute. <clears throat> F zero ninety nine launched on Switch. Did you ever try that out? Mm-mm. Oh yeah, it wasn't. It wouldn't have been on your list. I don't know what I just said. Uh, August nineteenth, Lies of P. I'm shocked you didn't jump. In. Yeah, I missed out on that. That's one I'll go back and check out at some point. Yeah, I think it's on sale now for fifty. Really? Um, Mortal Kombat one launches the same day. I'm an old folk. It's too gross for me now. I can't do it. I just can't. Like those. Some of those to me, it's the only thing I care about. Well, I know. maybe I'm just a sicko. But like when it came out, actually, I don't know if I ever did it for this. But with the Watch last all one, the fatalities. yeah, go to YouTube fatality montage. I'm like, yeah, let's see them all. But I have no interest in playing the no. game. 
Uh, on the 21st of September, Payday 3 launched on current gen and PC, and it was not good. They had lots of server issues and everything. Tokyo Game Show took place on the 23rd, 21st through the 24th. On the 27th of September, Jim Ryan announced he was retiring in April 2024. That same day, Counter-Strike 2 launched on PC. That seems like another thing, like, why do we need a second one? Right. We're never going to, hopefully we never have a Minecraft 2. Why do we need an Overwatch 2? Why do we need a Counter-Strike 2? No. Counter-Strike was around when I was in college. I was going to say, that's going back 20 years or something. And then on the 28th of September, unfortunately, Epic Games lays off 16% of their workforce and they divested their interests in Bandcamp and Super Awesome. I didn't even know Bandcamp was still a thing. This was a sh- this was an amazing year in video games, but I have to also acknowledge it was a horrible year. The behind the scenes stuff is bad. I think I read some estimate that around 9,000 people lost their jobs in the video game industry this year. Dang. Horrible. October, October 4th, Nintendo announces that the online services for the 3DS and Wii U will end in April 2024. RIP, such a great console. Put Link Between Worlds on Switch. October 5th, Ask Creed Mirage launches. People are happy because it's not 175 hours long. October 10th, the MetaQuest 3 launched. Also on October 10th, Forza Motorsport launched, and it seems like it was kind of disappointing, I guess. It didn't win best sports game, did it? What did? Or no, it did win it. Did it win best sports racing game? I think it might have, actually. I can't remember. But it seems like it was very tepid. It wasn't like when uh, Forza Horizon 5 came out, and that was awesome. Everybody loved that. And also on the 10th, unluckily for me, Roblox finally comes to PlayStation. October 13th. The never-ending nightmare is finally over. Xbox officially acquires Activision Blizzard King. Good luck recouping that $67.9 billion. On your $0 a month salary plus benefits, babe. (laughs) That was the dinner party, right? Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Also that same day, Lords of the Fallen launched on current-gen consoles and PC. I I, I don't think I realized that game came out. I that's the I, one that's another souls like yeah I just I, I didn't think it actually came out October 17th Sonic Superstars comes out and I still haven't played that check back our first podcast after Christmas I think I'll have something to say about that I would guess because I'm a big man child uh, and then but it launched at the worst time because on October 20th Mario Wonder comes out on Switch and Spider-Man 2 comes out on PS5 why would you put out a Sonic game three days before, before Mario. a brand new <laughs> 2D Mario game. What are you thinking? <sighs> on the 24th, Metal Gear Solid Master Collection Volume 1 comes out on everything. I still haven't got it because it just they didn't do a great job, but it seems like they've been patching it and stuff, so that's good. Check back after Christmas for that as well. Uh, Ghost Runner 2 launches on the 26th. Alan Wake 2 launches on the 27th, and because of recency bias, it wins all the awards. Speaking of a bad year in video games, uh, on the 30th, Bungie announces that they're laying off around 100 employees. Bungie also missed their targets. They're in real money trouble now. Sony could end up taking it over. It's not great. And on October 31st, Atari announced that they were purchasing Digital Eclipse for $20 million. How is Atari still around, and how is it still buying things? And why? That Yeah, that too. I don't know. November 3rd, BlizzCon takes place in person. Recurring theme here. On the 7th, Ubisoft lays off 125 employees. I didn't include all the layoffs here, but I did read somewhere. Like I said, it was like 9,000. It's just ridiculous. Uh, On the 7th, also Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl 2 launches. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 launches on the 10th with its three-hour campaign. And luckily, my kids did not want to buy it. I was like, thank God. Because even they heard that it sucked, even the multiplayer and everything. I was like, thank you. On the 15th, he's at the gym. He's at the gym. (laughs) He's in the bathroom. (laughs) Uh, PlayStation Portal launches on the 15th. Did you ask for this for Christmas? I just have no use case for it. I kind of want it, but I'm like, yeah, I don't know when. The only time I can't play my PlayStation when I want to is if my kids are playing it. And if they're playing it, then the Portal does me no good because I have to stream off of said PlayStation. (laughs) 
You know, I don't travel for work. Like, and I can't hardwire my PlayStation because I have no way to get Ethernet all the way over there unless I run a cord across the freaking floor. And Jess would kill me. Like, it. I. I, I will never. I, I won't get one. It's just not for me. I don't think it's didn't a somebody bad get device. one. Did John get one? I think or? it was John. Yeah. John, if you got it, let us know what you think of it. Also, on the fifteenth, the last faith launched. And then on the 16th, Flashback 2 launched, and I wrote down it sucks, and we were very sad. Yeah. 36 on Metacritic. Son of a bitch. Jeez, I don't, don't even that have bad. To, don't even have to... Ugh. And it was like 40 or 50 bucks. So sad. Also, we should have known from the start it was going to be bad because we already have Flashback 2. That was Fade to Black. That was the sequel That's to Flashback. That's the game. That game needs Scared a remake. the crap out of you, yeah. That too. Uh, yeah, it was just weird. But that game, if you made it more modern, I don't know. I feel like it would probably lose some of its charm. Yeah. Because I think some of its charm was just how, I don't want to say bad, but like how... I just remember it moving incredibly <laughs> like, Like five frames per yeah. second. Just <laughs> you would turn the camera. <laughs> uh, the Steam Deck OLED launched on the 16th as well. On the 17th, the Atari 2600 Plus launched. I forgot this was a thing. Same. Super Mario RPG also launched on the 17th. I love RPGs. Unity announces layoffs of 265 employees after the company after a company reset due to licensing changes that they were announced in September that they walked back immediately, but it was too late. They suck. And then in December, there's not a lot to talk about yet. The Game Awards took place on the 7th, same day Avatar Frontiers of Pandora launched, and it seems like it came and went like a fart in the wind. Don't care about the movie, so I don't care about the game. Yeah. Baldur's Gate 3 launched on Xbox, finally, on the 8th. On the 11th, Free Radical Design was shut down by Embracer due to their failed $2 billion deal. The 11th, we didn't really talk about this. This could be end up being a really big deal. But because it's Android, we didn't talk about it. We don't care. But Epic won their lawsuit against Google claiming that Google has an illegal monopoly in the Android market. They do. But didn't Epic lose to Apple? How can you That's beat what I Google thought. but lose to Apple? Yeah. I don't get it. And then, just this past week, the ESA confirmed that E3 is dead and gone for good. And on the 15th, Activision Blizzard King agreed to a $54 million settlement related to their sexual harassment lawsuit. Okay, so I knew I wasn't crazy. I'm not crazy. She's crazy. When that was announced, I'm like, I didn't we already know this? So what's the difference between what just came out about E3? Oh, I guess before they just they said, just said it wasn't happening it next, next year. year, and now they're saying it, it ain't ever happened. But we okay. knew, we knew, we we knew. Yeah, we didn't want to know, but we knew. So my question is, when it comes to video games, not the state of the industry and everything, was this the greatest year ever? Here's where's the section. Um, it's way up there. So if I go to, so these are some of the, now this doesn't mean everything, but just looking at Metacritic of games that came out this year, let me read down this list. Tears of the Kingdom, 96. Baldur's Gate 3, 96. Witcher 3 Complete Edition on Series X, I don't care, 94. But I mean, that game came out in 2015. I'm not, <laughs> that does not count. That doesn't count. This one doesn't really count either, but whatever. Metroid Prime Remastered, 94. Against the Storm, don't even know what that is, but that's a 93. <clears throat> it's a PC game that literally just came out last week. I have no idea what it is. Uh, Resident Evil 4, 93. Tetris Effect Connected came to PS5, so PSVR 2, 93. <clears throat> wow. Xenoblade Chronicles 3, expect it's their fourth final DLC, 92. Slay the Princess. Don't know what that is. It's a 92. Street Fighter 6, 92. Cocoon, one best indie or best new indie, I think. Yeah. 92. Super Mario Wonder, 92. Uh, I lost it. Sea of Stars, 91. I didn't realize that was that high. Yeah, I thought it was like 87, 88. That's awesome. The Resident Evil 4 Separate Ways DLC, which I forgot about, 91. Hmm. Diablo 4, no matter what people think about it now, 91. Cyberpunk, Phantom Liberty, the DLC, 90. Dave the Diver, 90. I'm not going to play Dave the Diver. The indie darling. Um, 
Some of these aren't new. Moss Book 2 is a 90. Persona 4 Golden, 90. Rogue Legacy 2, 90. Quake 2, the Enhanced Edition, 90. Okay, I mean, it's a remake. It's not the exact same. And then Spider-Man 2. Oh, Spider-Man 2 hit a 90. Wow. Walkabout Mini Golf is a 90. That doesn't even count. Like, some of the games that weren't that high on Metacritic but are some of my favorite games of the year. Let me look here that I didn't even talk about. Final Fantasy 16 was only an 88 or an 87 or something like that. That's one of my favorite games of all time. Yeah. Uh, Super Mario RPG wasn't on there. Well, that's weird. Oh, yeah, it was only like an 82 or something weird, right? It was kind of low. Uh, I don't know. Must be. Jedi Survivor wasn't on there. That was like a high 80s. Dead Space was high 80s. That wasn't on there. I don't think I can say this is better than... What did we end up saying? I think 98 was what we ended up on. I think so. With Metal Gear, Symphony, Ocarina. My God. I'm not saying this is that year. I, originally, this whole year, I was like, this is the I think year you need to give it a year or yes. two, maybe three. I think we need some... Back. S- yeah. Yeah. I think we need some space, but... It's up there. It's it's. I would probably, say it's the top three... Yeah, pretty safe to say. Yeah, top five for sure. Yeah, Th- this game's crazy. Even just with Tears of the Kingdom at Baldur's Gate, like people say, Baldur's Gate's the best role playing game ever made. Period. I'm yeah. never gonna play it. No. Zelda, it's better than Breath of the Wild, even though it got a lo- lo- lower score. Like, I-, I know it's Belder. Zelda's Belder. I almost did it without even trying to do it. But 2023 was awesome. 2024 is not looking as hot, but we'll see what it has in store for us. Obviously, there's a lot of games in 2024 that we don't even know about yet. So we'll see how it goes. Yeah. Now let's run through the wrap up and then Sean and I are going to go record Mario Mondays. As I already said, E3 is officially dead. Womp womp. But we knew it was happening. The Last of Us Online, now we actually have a name. It was canceled. Officially canceled. We have a name and And it's gone. It's dead. They said basically to support it, they would have had to become a full live service studio. What did they think? They've been working on this since Last of Us 2 three or four years what did you think if you're trying to make a live service game you're just now realizing you're gonna have to support said live service yeah what are we doing and then a screenshot leak somebody dust golem who's a leaker he's like well here's your menu i was like damn like i will we'll never know what it was actually going to be i think it could have been cool but like that does not that game does not really lend itself, I don't think. That's Poppy. That's he, a, he picked up... That's Poppy. He I was going to say, it sounds like he has a car. Yeah. Um, I feel like that game does not lend itself to PvP. Yeah. Like, it's not... But we don't even know if it would have been that. Or would have... I mean, that would have been part of it, obviously. Yeah. But, like, I... I no, no. I, but, it kind of... It definitely sucks, but I'm also like... Ah. But also, that's four years they could have been working on well, Last of Us 3 or, or a new IP or something. And yeah. I know the whole studio wasn't working on it. They're still working on Last of Us 3 and something else. But yeah, at least we don't have to talk about it anymore now. Yeah. This next one excites me. Elden Ring Shadow of the Ur- Ur- Tree DLC looks like it's coming in February. Thank God. Because Thrustmaster has a collaboration that leaked early with Elden Ring's DLC. And who or what is Thrustmaster? <laughs> they make joysticks and stuff. Oh, okay. I didn't but know I mean, if that was a person. But I think they, they make like racing wheels and stuff. So why are they collaborating on Elden Ring? I don't know. Uh, Eiji Aonuma <laughs> says that linear, he thinks linear Zelda games are quote games of the past. Now, as much as I love Tears of the Kingdom, that breaks my heart. He said, why do you want to go back to a type of game where you're more limited or more restricted in the type of things or ways you can play? What I would say is that's a really close-minded way of looking at it. Yeah. Ocarina of Time, best game ever. It's up there, yeah. Like, I don't know. And you can still do things different, like, it's not intended, but like, you can do things in different orders in that game. You can do going all the way back to Zelda one, probably two, yeah, three, Awakening, like almost every Zelda game. You can do stuff out of order. There's like an intended path, but doesn't mean you have to follow it. So yeah, yeah I, I don't like that he says that, but we'll see. Um, this one made me very happy. Larian says that Baldur's Gate three quote 
isn't going to be on Game Pass, end quote. Quote, we made a big game, so I think there's a fair price to be paid for that, end quote. Thank you. Uh, also, they have no reason to put that on Game Pass. No. There's no amount of money that, unless Microsoft gave them a billion dollars. Yeah. But that would just be stupid, which Microsoft might do that. Uh, Spider-Man 2 New Game Plus update has been delayed into early 2024. Games should just have New Game Plus. Last Faith should have New Game Plus. <laughs> well, yeah, so, so you I can, can get, your get platinum. the Platinum. Mortal Kombat 1 is getting cross-play on PS5 and the Xbox Series is in February along with PC, but not the Switch. Shocking. <laughs> no! <laughs> <laughs> this one excites me. Cuphead Studio MDHR. Cuphead Studio Studio MDHR is hiring for an art director, quote, for a brand new project here at the studio, end quote. Let's freaking go. It's not. I don't think they're going to do Cuphead too. I think they're going to do something brand new. Is what I think. That's fine, but like almost anything they do, like it can't sign me up. I'll pre-order it now. <laughs> uh, Sega, coming off of their awesome appearance at the Game Awards, has filed twelve trademarks in Japan, and this basically reads like our childhood. Altered Beast. Say whatever you want. It. There's a way to do that much better than it was done the first time. Alex Kidd. Afterburner. Crazy Taxi. Eternal Champions. House of the Dead, Jet Set Radio, Kid Chameleon, Outrun, Shinobi, Streets of Rage, and Super Monkey Ball. <laughs> a lot of those we already knew about, but not all of them. Death Stranding, it was announced on the eight-year anniversary of Kojima Productions founding. Death Stranding has had 16 million players. Good for them. One of them is Derek. One of them was Sean. <laughs> <sighs> Uh, speaking of that, A24 announced their partnership with Kojima Productions on the Death Stranding live action movie. I saw somebody on Twitter was like, how funny is it going to be if they recast <laughs> Norman? <laughs> uh, I didn't even know this was happening. Apparently, this got announced at some point, but Bethesda has announced that they're delaying the Fallout 4 current gen update until next year. I don't remember ever hearing that it was getting a PS5 and a series version. I don't think I knew that. I don't think I knew that. sound like I said, I don't think God knew that. <laughs> he doesn't know nobody knows <laughs> uh, PS Plus extra games were announced for December they include GTA 5 Stranger of Paradise Final Fantasy Origin MotoGP 23 Metal Hell Singer that would be fun to check out that's the rhythm yeah. bah, 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 bah. shooter Salt and Sacrifice be fun I don't remember that if the that's first? the first or the second yeah. yeah Mega Man 11 all I played of that did you play the demo I remember I tried it forever ago but I think it was on Switch Mega and it was Man only the 11. demo I don't know if I ever played that. I think I played nine. I definitely played nine way back when, like on the, the Wii. NES style, yeah. Wait, so what is this? Is this a like a new modern it's game? Two point five Metroid, uh, oh, Metroid Mega I Man game. I think I don't remember it happening. Yeah, that's a solid lineup. That's a hell of a lineup. And then PS Plus Premium is getting Mega Man Legacy Legacy Collection One and Two. I do have to say, my interest is peaked with all this Mega Man stuff. I'm like, are you are you doing something? Are we getting 12? Are we getting it's possible X, Capcom X10 or whatever? still has something that they haven't told right. us about. Mega Man Legacy Collection 1 and 2, Thrillville and Off the Rails. I don't know what those are. And Buzz Lightyear of Star Command. You're not going to renew premium, I assume. I don't think so. Unless you just forget and it auto renews. You were covering up the score and trying to make it not seem obvious by putting your hands <laughs> like this. I knew what you were doing. I was just waiting for you to move them so I could call you out. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that's it for this episode of the two-player co-op podcast. That's it for the two-player co-op podcast. This year, we're taking off next week for Christmas. Um, yeah, Mario Mondays. We're not going to have Mario Mondays on Christmas because I don't feel like dealing with it on Christmas because that would be insane. Um, but yeah, as you're watching this, there should be a new Mario Mondays up. Uh, so yeah, check that out. And we'll be back the first week of next year. Probably to do our game of the year stuff. We'll see. Maybe we wait a week. But yeah, yeah. we'll be back at that time. I hope you all had an awesome 2023. Have a great Christmas. Whatever holidays you got. New year. All that fun stuff. And we'll be back after all that's done. But until that time, Sean, go ahead and take us out. Thank you for playing.